Hey guys, so I know I haven't filmed anything in a really long time. Um, I'm trying to think what my last video was. I think my last video was something pertaining to being engaged. Um, since then, we have gotten married. Um, we have bought a house. I graduated college and we are now pregnant. <laughs> so I'm 20 weeks pregnant today. I'll show you guys my bump. <laughs> 20 weeks pregnant. Um, we are having a boy, which is so exciting because we both really wanted a boy. Um, and I just kind of wanted to talk about some of my like first trimester must-haves, first trimester update. I don't really know what I'm going to call this video. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about pregnancy related stuff. I want to try to film more pregnancy related things just so I can look back on all the videos and show our son or whatever. I don't really know or just help you guys. So I guess I'll get started. Um, I'll start off. For, okay, so we got pregnant in... October um we announced in November we announced on Thanksgiving and I so we didn't wait the like 11 until you're 11 weeks like they say you're supposed to or whatever I just personally didn't want to not be able to celebrate our pregnancy I wanted to enjoy every second of it and not be um, scared or fearful that something might happen because I know they say to wait to announce in case you were to miscarry or something like that I didn't want to live in that fear um, and thankfully it you know uh, worked out for us um, but I just didn't want to live in the fear that something might happen. I wanted to celebrate a life and I wanted to celebrate our pregnancy and um, just be as happy as I can, especially because um, it's so important for the health of your baby. So we announced um, pretty early. I think I was like six or seven weeks um, on Thanksgiving which was really fun. Um, so yeah, we announced in November and, um, I have a midwife. I really wanted a midwife because I have just heard not horror stories, but well, some of them are horror stories, but I've just heard people say that with, they had a doctor, just a regular, uh, OBGYN and um, they didn't really care about what um, they wanted. The doctor kind of just came in and like either had the time to just suggest, suggested a C-section because they wanted to just get you in and out or um, they would do like an episiotomy, which is where they cut you from your vagina to your anus. Um, and I knew I didn't want either one of those things and I wanted, so I wanted my midwife to kind of be there to advocate for me to make sure I had, um, the pregnancy and, or, or the, the labor and delivery that I wanted. Um, I want to do a natural birth and I don't want to just be cut. I want them to try to prevent as much tearing as they can. Um, you know, I wanted to um labor in the water so there are just things that i knew that i wanted specifically that i knew i could get with a midwife and i'm not saying that there aren't amazing doctors i'm sure that there are um but with this being my first pregnancy i wanted to experience all of it that i can and i wanted to experience it in the way that i wanted to experience it not what the doctor wanted for me so all that to say, I have a midwife. She's amazing. Um, I haven't had any issues with her or with 
um, got facility or office or hospital, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's been great. Okay, so anyways, things that I think you need during your first trimester um, is lots of water. I recently got this cup, but I wish I had had it um, in my first trimester because um, it keeps the water cold and this holds a good amount of water. I love it. Um, it's so important to drink a lot of water, just especially if you're sick all the time. I was thankful enough to not be sick every single day, um, which I thought would happen to me because my mom was sick every single day of her pregnancy with me like throwing up sick every single day until the day that she gave birth. So um, I was blessed to not experience that, um, but I was nauseous every single day of my first trimester. Uh, I only threw up if I ate something like really heavy or greasy or just something that just didn't sit well. Um, so I had to kind of watch what I was eating. But water is important because if you're throwing up a lot, um, you can get easily dehydrated. So these, um, you should probably drink like, this is a, what is this? I don't know. I think this is a 36 six ounce oh no this is a 24 ounce <laughs> this is a 24 ounce cup um and i know they say to drink half your body weight in ounces but when you're pregnant it's just a standard like eight cups a day is what i was told um so you could drink like five of these and get what you need i guess um anyways so yeah, drink lots of water. Another thing that helped me was having peanut butter crackers. I've been obsessed with these. Um, I love them. Regular saltines didn't work for me. Um, ginger ale didn't work for me. Really nothing worked. <laughs> but the peanut butter crackers was like one of the main things I could keep down. And gave me some... A little bit of protein um, that I wasn't getting from my regular diet. Thankfully now in my second trimester I'm eating a lot more which is good. Um, but yeah so if you like peanut butter I would suggest trying peanut butter crackers during your first trimester because seriously it was the only thing that helped me, the only thing I could keep down. Um, and then what else? I don't think I have anything like food related just because I I couldn't really eat a whole lot just because I was nauseous all the time. Um, oh, another thing that helped me was wearing really loose clothes. So before I was pregnant, all of my jeans were like high waisted, really tight. Um, I couldn't wear any of those. I had to get some leggings and just some loose pants because anything touching my stomach just made me feel like I was going to throw up. I couldn't I couldn't wear the leggings that I had. I had to get a bigger size because I was like a double zero. I I was like a double zero or just like an extra small um and I just couldn't stand anything touching my stomach. <laughs> I feel so bad for Bailey because he would just like touch me and I would just like cringe. <laughs> and I was just like, please don't touch me, please. I feel so sick right now. Um, the first trimester I think was hard for me and Bailey. Unfortunately, it's gotten better, but um, definitely hard. Not as hard as other people's experiences. I understand there are other people who have had way worse experiences than me, but definitely a little bit harder than I think what I was expecting. Um, but yeah, that's all I have written down, just the water, peanut butter crackers, and loose clothes. That's what really, really, really helped me. Um, I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna try 
to do like a first trimester update, a second trimester update now that I'm in my second trimester, and a third trimester kind of like ending pregnancy kind of video, I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so other than that, this pregnancy has been super good. I've had so much support from everybody and just felt so much love. Um, I am going to do a nursery related video. We've already started on the nursery. It, it's looking pretty good right now, but there are still a couple of things that we need to get. Um, and we just need to fill it up with baby clothes and all that good stuff. But I wanted to show you guys what we're going to do with the nursery. And yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found it at least a little bit helpful. I know it's kind of rambling, but yeah, I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.